So today's video, we're going to be making these little bunny faces. These ones are double sided, so they have a front and a back. But if you just want to do the front as an applique, or you can use them as a keychain or a um, little tag for a, a gift you're giving. Um, we're going to be using a number four medium weight yarn, but you can use pretty much any yarn as long as you match your needle or your hook, sorry, with it. Um, I'm going to be using a 4.25 today and we'll need our darning needle and our scissors and some pink and black for embroidering the face. So to get started, I'll be making a loop, but if you prefer making a magic ring or doing your chains to make your circle, however you're most comfortable. We're going to go through our loop and pull up a string, chain one, half double crochet, so yarn over, in through your loop, grab your yarn, pull up and through, you have three on your hook, and pull through all three. So we're going to do 12 of those, so that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And then you're just going to slip stitch into this first um, V where you did your chain. Oops, I could grab it. And then we're going to chain one again. And we're going to put two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around for 24. So one and two. Three and four. Five, oops, and six. Seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen. 17 and 18, nineteen and twenty, whoops, twenty one and twenty two, twenty three. slip stitch up into that first chain stitch you made. And then we'll start the ears and we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this second chain from the hook, we're going to start doing half double crochets all the way down till we get back to the face. So one, two, three, 
four, five, oops, six, and in that last little stitch there, seven. All right, so right there is where we would chained up. So over here in this next stitch, that's where we're gonna put our single crochet. And we're gonna put three of them. So that's two and three. Oops. And then we're gonna do the second air. So we'll chain up eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in that second chain, we're gonna do our seven half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll go one stitch over from where we chained there. And we'll put, I'm putting halves. Actually, I think I'm supposed to be slip stitching right there. That's the end of it. Sorry, I just made this pattern up yesterday and I, I wasn't even sure I was gonna do a video on it because I'm not sure I'm happy with the faces of these guys. So I'm just trying to remember what I did and then what I fixed. So there's your front. Now you can embroider it now if you want. Pause the video and put some eyes and stuff on because we are gonna be making a back and that will make it a little easier. Um, maybe I'll put the nose on. I don't like embroidering eyes, so I, now where did I put my, now I didn't move, where did I put my darning needle? There it is. Um, I'm gonna put googly eyes on here, or if you're gonna put safety eyes, put them in now. I'll just put a little nose on here. And you guys can decide if you're putting, what kind of eyes you're putting on. I'm never sure where I want the nose. I think I'm gonna go across this time. Is that even there? I'm just going to kind of go across and close that hole in a little bit. That is the one downside of not doing a magic ring is, or a slip knot, I guess. If you, um, if you make your loop too big, you got a little bit of a hole there. But usually I'm pretty good at guessing. I'm not going to worry about my ends because I'm putting another side on it. But you will want to weave those in somehow if you're not putting it back on. And then I would put the eyes somewhere around there and there if you're just embroidering them. All right, so for the back, basically we're going to do exactly the same thing, except we're not going to do the ears. So you make your loop, 
and then you're gonna do your 12 half double crochets so pull through chain one and 12 half double crochets one two three four five I got a knot coming up here in my yarn six seven eight Ten, eleven, and twelve, and just go into that top stitch there. So slip, slip stitch, chain one, and then two half double crochets all the way around in each stitch. One and two, three and four, five and six, whoops, seven and eight, nine and ten. 11 and 12, 13 and 14, 15 and 16, and I pushed that too far. I got a heck of a mess going on here. Gotta love it when that happens, but it happens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 21 and 22, 23 and 24. And then join up there at that top stitch where you chained. Let it come through. Yep. Now you're going to take your other side and wrong sides together be a little awkward to start but once you get going it'll be good so you're gonna take through the front of this one the middle of your one two three just in front of that th that second one I guess and then down through here where you just brought your yarn through and then pull through and do a single crochet. I can't decide if I want a single or slip stitch here. It looks like a bit of a mess, but hopefully it fixes itself. So then go through the next stitch, front and back, another single crochet. And then we're gonna slip stitch all the way up and then back down, just the ears. So, Eight, 
into this stitch kind of where the ear joined and then back into this stitch on the back into the next stitch front and back and single crochet now just single crochet all the way around until you get to the next ear making sure that you're going through the front and the back loops There's the front, there's the back. Not to be confused with the front back loops of the, the chain. Oh. This is a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it to make sure you go through the right stitches, otherwise you're gonna be coming back wondering what you did and why your stitches aren't lining up. Way to the other side here. I think I'm regretting this thicker yarn. It's quite bulky, but it is a number four. It's funny how sometimes you can get a really thin number four or a really thick number four. I usually like the thicker one the better. Keeps your stitches nice and tight. But I am pushing quite a bit to get through this. Okay, so you're at your ear, or if you're at your ear, when you get to your ear, you wanna go through this stitch right in front of the ear into the back, if you can see that. Ooh, my fingers look horrible. I don't know if it's the dry air or the, all the crocheting or what, but boy, do they ever crack. Um, and it's winter time. So now you're gonna slip stitch up into all the stitches on the ear and hopefully I get 14 again. That's three, four, Five, six, seven, I think I just put an extra stitch in there. It's not going to really matter though. My on eight, nine, ten. and 14 and then you're just going to want to put one single crochet right in here it's going to be tight probably and then slip stitch into the next stitch and you can tie off and I'm going to do a chain of 20 and then bring it back down and slip stitch in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty and then just slip stitch right where you started chaining up if you're doing your chain. And then tie off. And then you're gonna wanna 
gonna stick your ends in. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna be using mine as a little gift tag, so I'm not gonna be too concerned about weaving it in. But if you're doing it, using it for something else, or it's gonna be on something that gets a lot of like touching and handling, you wanna weave these in a little bit. I just realized I have not hardly looked in the camera once to see if I was in the frame or not. So hopefully I'm not redoing this. And I somehow missed this guy too. I do remember tucking him in, but he must not have stayed in. Just gonna put some little, little googly eyes on this guy. I think I'm gonna. I think these ones are um, 20 millimeter. These bigger ones. I haven't even tried little ones on him yet. Of course, I'd glue those down. Should we see what the little ones look like? They actually might look better. Actually, yeah, I think the little ones look better. See, they're stuck on there good. Too bad they don't stick on the project that good. Yeah, so definitely the little ones look better. Well, thanks for watching. Um, happy crocheting and I don't know. Take care, be safe, have a good day.